Hello friends, let us continue with our Excel versus Python series. In this video, we will look at a very interesting use of Python. We will also look at how to do the same thing in Excel. Specifically, let us look at how to add a range of data based on one or more criteria. So for instance, Imagine that you need to get a sum of all these sales values. You can simply write the sum function, select your sales values, and here you have your sum of all the sales values. Now imagine that you need to get a sum of all the sales but only for the north region. So in this case, you can use the sumif or sumifs function. Let us use the sumifs function. In the sumifs function, you first provide the range that you want to add and I want to add all the sales and then I need to provide the range that contains the criteria that I want to use. So my criteria is the north region and the region, the range containing the region name is this range and the region name is north. So I can write north here and here I got my sum of all the sales but for only the north region. Now imagine that you have more than one criteria. So assume that I have north region and A grade. So I need to get the sum of sales for only the north region and A grade combination. So let's once again write our sum if function. The range that I want to sum is this range my first criteria is the north region so my first criteria range is this range and the criteria is this one my second criteria range is the range containing the grades and my second criteria is the grade itself so this is the sum of all the sales for the given region of north and the grade of a Let's try to do the same thing in Python now and you will see how it's extremely easy to do a sumifs type of computation in Python. So let's start with the usual import numpy as np and import pandas as pd. We'll use the read underscore excel function and provide the name of the excel file and read that data into this variable called file data which is a data frame and let us preview our data by using the head method. So you can see that all the data that was in my original file has been transferred over here and if I just want to get a sum of all my data I can take file data and you can either provide the name of the column in brackets like this or you can access it by using the dot operator and then providing the name of the column. Finally, because you want a sum of all the elements in the column, you can call the sum function. And you can see that this now holds the sum of all the sales for all the regions. Now, whenever you have a column that contains only a few categories, it is always good to retype that column as the type of category. This may not be very useful for our use case, but it is a good practice to adopt nevertheless. So let us preview our data once again. This is our original data. And you can see that after this retyping to the category type, the column region now has a data type of category. Now assume that you want a sum of all the sales but based on the region. So there are two ways to do this. If we want a summary of the sum of sales for all the regions then you can simply call the group by method and in parenthesis provide the column to group your data by. So 
here you get data grouped by four columns and finally after grouping those columns you want to apply the sum method so that you get a sum of sales for each region separately so this way we got our sales for the north region as 1500 which was the same result that we had got in excel as well but here you are also getting the data for all the regions at the same time now let's look at our second problem which was to get a sum of sales but only for the north region and for the grade of a so the method that you can use for this is called the query method so the query method acts like a filter so here i want to provide two criteria the first is that my grade must be equals to a and the second is that my region must be equal to north and i need both these criteria to be fulfilled so i put the and operator to connect them and finally i enclose this entire expression within single quotes and after doing all this i am interested in only the sales column just as we were interested in only the sales column and finally i am specifically interested in only the sum of the sales values for this combination of grade and region so when you run this you will get the answer of 700 which was the same answer that we got using the sum ifs function in excel so this is how you can add a range of data based on specific criteria in excel by using the sum ifs function and in python by using the query function and the sum function if you like this video be sure to give it a like and thumbs up and share it with your friends for more such videos be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you get a notification whenever i post a new video goodbye and take care